Hello guys, welcome to Cracksoid. A new ROM named as Banana Droid is now rolled out, which is based on latest Android 13. And in this video, I'm showing its new features, customization, safety net status, and also give you the review of this Banana Droid ROM. So without further ado, let's get into the video. So this is Banana Droid ROM, and this ROM is available for all Mi Atoll devices, which includes Redmi Note 9 S, Note 9 Pro, Note 9 Pro Max, and Poco M2 Pro. And I have installed this Banana Droid ROM on Redmi Note 9 Pro Max. As you can see, this is an official version of Banana Droid, and official build will be rolled out very soon. You can see the Android version latest Android 13 is here, with December 2022 security update, and DFC kernel is used in this ROM. At first, I will check the safety net status, and you can see safety net status is passed, and inside Play Protect certification device is certified as well. This has Banana Home Launcher in this ROM. And inside its home screen setting, there is double tap to sleep on home screen, wallpaper scrolling and zooming options are present. And inside app drawer, themed icon, source bar on app drawer, and icon labels are present in it, which will show the name of the icons below it. And inside miscellaneous, use taskbar option is present, and this will show a taskbar at the bottom of the screen. Along with the taskbar feature, there is hidden and protected app present, and from here we can hide any apps and put a password or pin on applications. This room is smooth to use. The user experience of this room is satisfying and app opening closing speed and animation is also fast and smooth. This is the Android 13 typical quick setting panel which has power menu and setting icon located at the bottom of the screen and it has almost all the tiles that should be on Android 13 quick settings. Now I will show you some new settings inside settings section of Banana Droid. At first it has network and internet settings where there is private DNS feature and now lots of DNS are included in it. Now it's easy to use private DNS, we don't need to type it manually. There is Cloudflare, AdGuard, OpenDNS, Clean Browsing and Quad9 DNS available for our easiness. And below private DNS, there is connectivity check option is present. There is banana gear section from where we can do lots of customizations. As you can see, there is status bar setting at first from where we can customize look and style of a status bar by changing the status bar icons. Also logo option is present. And below there is network traffic monitor, data disabled indicator with battery style, battery percent, battery bar and many more. Inside quick setting there is battery estimate option present which will show the estimated remaining battery life on QS panel. Also data usage option is there which will display data usage summary in QS footer. Inside gesture there is quickly open camera, swipe navigation, one handed mode, press and hold power button to access power menu or assistant, swipe to screenshot and many more features. And inside buttons and navigation there is toggle flashlight when screen is off present. And inside notifications there is four sister button, noisy notification, clear notification button, heads up and three ticker are present. We can hide status bar on lock screen from here. Also screen of animation is present. There is ambient display available which have wake screen for notifications. Always show time and info, music ticker, and edge lighting present. Inside themes, there is allow window level blurs, monet engine, font style, Wi-Fi icon style, and signal icon style are present. And at last on miscellaneous, there is unlock higher FPS in games option present. Also in this room, unlimited photo storage option is there, which will allow us to upload unlimited photos and videos on Google Photos app. Along with unlimited photo storage, there is Netflix spoof and game space present. And talking about the battery backup of this room, this room gives decent battery backup. I have used this room for whole one day and I haven't seen any battery drainage problem in this room. Also fingerprint and face unlock feature is present in this room for the security purpose. And inside wallpaper and style, there is wallpaper and basic colors with dark theme, themed icon and app grid. And it has unique and cool wallpapers present in this room. And I really like the wallpapers included in this room. And in system, there is no any updater setting available, but thermal profile and game mode is present. And talking about camera, it has Aperture camera installed in this room, and the camera works perfectly. And if you want to try this new fresh room with lots of features and customization, then you can try this banana droid room. And all the credit of this room goes to its respective developer. So that's it for this video. If you have any more information about this room, you can comment down below. And if you like this video, you can hit the like button, comment down below, share this video as much as you can, and subscribe to our Cracksuit YouTube channel. Thank you very much for watching this video till the end. I'll see you in my next video. Until then, goodbye, take care.